Hey guys, this is Fish Tank Guy 67 and today I wanted to show you how to make a DIY CO2 unit for your planted aquarium. Um, first what you'll need is just an empty bottle. I'm using an empty pop bottle which is just three liters and some airline tubing or CO2 tubing if you can find it. Um, an empty, a smaller bottle, just an empty one. I, you should use a jar, this is a little bit big but I couldn't find anything else, so I'm just using this right now. And then, you don't need this, but um, I really recommend that you use a valve, so then you can control how much gets into the fish tank, like, if you're getting too much going in. And you're going to want something to diffuse it into the tank. I'm using just this um, CO2 ladder. You can use any other kind, like an, a CO2 purpose air stone or one of those spiraling ladders kind of and for the ingredients you're gonna want some sugar some yeast and some baking soda okay since you finished making it you're gonna just wanna unscrew it from what you just made and um, take it to the sink and just fill it up about two-thirds three-fourths of the way full around there or if you have a pop bottle you can just fill it up to the line that's what I usually do so when you have the water in there, you're going to want to take a, a funnel or a piece of paper, in my case, because I, I couldn't find a funnel at the time. And you're just going to want to roll it up so it kind of makes a funnel like so you don't make a mess. This is just so you don't make a mess. So you're going to take some sugar, and I use a rule of one half a cup of sugar per liter. Since this is a three liter bottle, we're going to use a half, one and a half cups. So you just scoop it up and pour it in, and you take as much as you need for the bottle you're using. Okay, so then you're done with the sugar. And then you're just going to want to shake that up for um, one to two minutes until it's all mixed in. Okay, so I already have it shaken up. I shook it up for about a minute, so it should be all mixed in. So after you do that, you're going to want to take some yeast. I'm just using this yeast. You can find them in most um, supermarkets or food stores. Um, yeah, you're going to want about a teaspoon of that. And I'm using a 3 liter bottle, so if you have a smaller one, you can just use one third of a teaspoon per liter. So you pour that in. Oh, sorry, I made a mess. Um, and then that you're going to want to mix in again. Just a little bit. So I'll show you when I'm done with that. Okay, so I shook that up for about 30 seconds. And you just want to shake that up into, until it's all mixed in. So the next thing you're going to want to take is some just baking soda. You want about a teaspoon of that, and again, if you have a smaller container, you can just do one-third of a teaspoon per liter. So then you just pour that in. And then you just shake that up. You don't have to shake that up too much. Okay, so after that chicken up, you're going to want to connect it back onto the tubing. You do not want to put it in the aquarium yet because it might start a back siphon unless you have a check valve. If you have a check valve, then just go ahead and um, hook it up. Then it goes on to this. You're just going to want to fill this up about halfway full, or if you have a jar, about three-fourths of the way full. And that's just to remove some of the alcohol. So then after you do that, that you're practically done. All you have to do is hook this up onto your aquarium and make sure everything is okay. And that's how you make a DIY CO2 unit.